I'm in. Let's go to Elysium. I'll take you there myself. Pyra! Here! Hey there, everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles 2. God dang it, this game. <laughs> so... I went to heart to heart to see if I had the correct play people to do it because otherwise I wasn't going to hang around here. And no, it doesn't tell you what's required. It just starts the damn thing. I keep forgetting that because usually in the previous games that wasn't going to happen. It would be like, oh, you need this thing. Would you like to start the event? And I expected that screen, but I didn't get it. Thankfully, I paused it pretty dang quick. So resume. Interesting. Yep. Here it is. Oh, wow. Pyro already just bought it for her? What is that thing? It looks quite grotesque. Dude, it's not even rendered. What are you talking about? You can't see anything in her hand. Why? That's an Argentum monkfish. <laughs> you are familiar with this creature, Lady Morag? Well, Morag seems to know basically everything. That's why she's a quizzer. It's a rare delicacy that is only found in the waters around here. It's rather tasty. I love how she's like, you know what this is? People eat this monstrous fish thing. Well, it might not look appetizing, but I've heard the taste is divine. Since it's so rare, I thought I'd cook something up with it. But I'm not sure how. <laughs> Morat, do you know? Do tell, please. Will you apply fire and seasoning? Wait, which of these... Um, am I giving the option to have her lie about it, or is she a good cook? Uh, I mean, Lady Morag, if I may, is this really wise? I'm like, I don't know if she is, is a good cook or not. Oh, don't you worry yourself. Shall we start by getting the fish, then? Excuse me? God damn it, I, I didn't know which where the truth was. What's the matter? Got it. Got this creature well yes we can't exactly cook it like that <clears throat> understood life is a battlefield let us commence <laughs> i really wish i i mean like if she can't cook i figure she wouldn't have said that but maybe this is just the morag that won't back down from a challenge Shall we'll go with that boss lady morag <clears throat> bridget yes please hold down its head <laughs> what? No, I. Uh, that is, I'd rather not touch it. I wish I knew what the thing looked like so I could like envision the scene better. It's just a little tricky to make the incision when it keeps staring at me. Qu quite true, but uh, for the love of the architect, do it! Please, at least cover its eyes for me. But we need to get the fish a blindfold, Morag. Y yes, ma'am. We cannot let a mere fish get the best of us. Ah! What's wrong? <laughs> it it looked me in the eye. Is this thing still alive? I mean, it might be. You can't say it's not. Can it be? Then I must end it before it strikes. God damn it, Morag! It's opening its foul maw. Lady Morag, the enemy means to eat us. Quickly, the finishing blow! Very well. Hellfire! No, wait. If you do that, the food will be... Well, Bridget, as befits the flame bringer, the foe is extinguished <laughs> without a trace. <laughs> Phew. Our mission here is done. What do you think you're doing? There's nothing left for us to eat. So, apparently... I was supposed to give the other answer. Once again, I have to say, I kind of wish I knew whether or not more I could cook, because that made all of the difference in actually answering that question. But, at the end of the day, sometimes you just have to go with your gut, and sometimes your gut is wrong. <laughs> and my gut was very wrong. So, very quickly, how do I, how do I close you, game?
Uh, close software, please. Then reopen software. Because that'll be helpful. Super plus helpful. Because before I go and do the tranquility scene, for anyone that's watching this and hasn't played the game before, you need to see the previous scene that I unfortunately saw while I was at work because the Switch can do that. So let's go find it. Blade Quest. This quest caught me a little off guard because she gives you the quest and then the scene plays out of nowhere when you turn the quest in. Whereas with Azami, it, the whole thing was voiced from the second you kind of like start the quest. I guess you, the zombie start off with a like blade mission, but still. We're back again. <laughs> Just waltz in unannounced, why don't you? I mean, well, yeah. Oh, sorry. It's just that Vess asked us to fetch some firewood. Because it's like the third step of the quest oh, and something was voice acted. She? Well, good on you, kids. You can leave it over there for now. Hey, what was that you were up to just now? Huh? What was what? Well, it seemed as if you had swallowed something in your surprise. It was food. Nothing gets past you lot, does it? Well, when you're choking on it, it's kind of hard not I to notice. I to be eating a Nurayan delicacy. Chocolate, they call it. Chocolate? Is it tasty? Oh, you have no idea. <laughs> Creamy sweetness with a note of bitter almonds intermingling in perfect harmony. One I don't bite know if it's of perfect. Stuff, and you'll never go back. Sounds like drugs. It sounds so tasty. Tora already losing mouthwater. I love the way he phrases that. Tora want to try it. Dear, oh dear. Mabon, how old are you? Eating chocolate in secret again like a naughty school Well, child? if you wouldn't scold him, maybe he wouldn't do that. Vess, no. It's not what you think. It's chocolate, not a mistress. <laughs> I don't think so. How many times have I told you? You mustn't eat it all at once. Oh, well, you see, the thing is, I... If it doesn't get into my mouth, well, no, it gets in my well, mouth. Bess has got quite a present sometimes, doesn't she? Yeah, I'm not sure who serves you who here. You say that again. I'd hate to get to the bad side. You can't eat so much of this stuff. Oh, your health is going to suffer. I'll take these, thank you very much. You're welcome very much. But... But this is why he puts them all in his mouth at once, so you can't take them. There's no use looking at me like that. I'm not falling for your tricks ever again. Then what's the point of tricks? <sighs> Spoil sport. Now come on. Don't be like that. Whatever will our guests think? Come, everyone. Dinner is served. Are these dumplings? I actually really like dumplings, guys. They're indeed, dumplings. Uh, isn't there anything else? Where is rest of food? <laughs> I'm afraid that's all there is. So we've been dumped with nothing but dumplings. Correct. Just dumplings tonight. After all. They are my specialty. I can see why the old man. You should try them. They're delish. Like sneaks in really? other foods. If this test only makes one second thing. Second best thing I ever tasted. Only second best. Yeah, first one being chocolate by a mile. Oh, do give it a rest, Mabon. It's bad manners. Ah, please feel free to tuck in. Help yourselves. Tuck in? Mm. Is that like when you suck your gut in? This delicious! <laughs> Listen to Tora. It's not our fat. It's seasoned with just enough salt. Can you even eat dumplings? You're a carnivore. Aw. Poor Poppy. 
Puppy's like, I can't eat good food. I hate being robot. And yeah, Zombie has... So I do want to get the other quest. I'm sure I won't get the quest for every single blade, but everyone I can find and everyone I can watch, I'm going to do. These are almost the whole point of the game as far as I'm concerned. Like, that's not true, but it should be true. I was doing his level best to be true. Loading, loading, loading. Keep that Xeno loading. Rawhide. Okay. So we want to go back to... I think they're in Gormont. Because now we have gotten to the point I wouldn't have showed that yet except we're ready to turn it in. And I'm sure this will be another cutscene like that. Phew. That was a slog. Let us go. It's raining on me, guys. It's raining water. Because there's no men. I'm sorry. I apologize. If you're expecting men, you are disappointed. Hey, it's Mo Maui. Huh, we're still a ways away, although we're supposed to be on the same level as it now. There we go. I have discovered where I'm going. There's Mabon again. He's like the Avon lady, but he starts with M. Ha, it's exactly the chuck that I was at. Thank you kindly. Could you deliver the rice ball to Vest for me? The voracious Vanguard has returned. Awesome. He will be the bearer of good news. You don't see much of them around these days, but how do you know I like these rice balls? Maybe I told you. I see what's going on here. He asked you to buy him some chocolate, didn't he? I knew it. That could fool me, did he? I don't know what to do with that man anymore. I'll have to give him a proper telling off. Just let the man eat some damn chocolate! Jesus! <laughs> Again, Pastor is there. Face myself then, won't I? <laughs> I have a bad feeling he's going to end up dying and we're going to end up inheriting Tess. Which will be sad. No, he's wearing the lap. I appreciate it keeping this quiet from her. I'm fine. Don't you? I'm not going to kneel over kick the bucket just yet. Never mind. Might I bother you with one more little errand? Now, let's see. About 30 years ago, back when I was still serving, me and Vest, we got our hand on a pair of golden bracers. It's a rare find, ain't it? We never particularly pressed for money back in those days, so we decided to hide them. In the fife of forgetfulness of Moradain. Thing is, according to Vess, I was asking Russ if we might fetch those old bracers we buried back in the day. The fife of the forgetfulness, forgetfulness, wasn't it? It was the ruins of Fountain Park, the kingdom of Araya. God dang it. Okay, I guess I guess that's where we're going. Dan, I was expect. You see, this is the problem with this quest. I never know where to go because it lies, <laughs> and it's like you know I shouldn't say it lies, but it I don't ever know exactly. So more ordain first. The five of forgetfulness. We'll just have to find it. But yes, yeah, some of them are voice acting, some of them aren't. And I. I just never know, guys. I'm never quite sure whether or not that's what I should be doing. Let's see how close I am to the five of forgetfulness, because it is starting me here. That was a slog. Let us go. I'm in completely the wrong place. It's supposed to be an Araya.
It's interesting it said that I was only 500 away, and yet it also said it was probably 500 away from the port in order to get to Araya. That's probably what's happening. I was like, why does it say I'm that close if I'm on the wrong Mare. continent? Long journeys make Tora tired. Refresh and set off again. Geronimo! <laughs> Dang, it's somewhere up above me now. I was hoping it was down here, but it is not. So... It looks like it's up on top of that cliff. So I think I have to start from down here and go up, if I remember correctly. I do... Th this game does a lot of things right, but the thing I love the most is just the natural wildlife you just see jumping around, and it's just, it's just wonderful. It makes me super happy. You know, it's just... Th th this, more than any other game I've ever played, just sells the idea that you're in a natural world that is bigger than you are. Okay, bring it on. Um, so I can't help but notice I can't get up there. So if I can't get on from that side... Can I come down from this side? I believe this will actually get bring me down. I forget how you get there, but I think this actually comes yeah. down the Let's get going. Ooh, wow, that's a long way away. This may not be correct. I thought this shot straight down. But it may not. We'll just have to find out. Because I I do think this is a very, very long corridor that eventually goes to the right place. But we'll just have to see. I may be completely misremembering where this goes. Because obviously I had to come up here for a boss fight. Ooh, does this actually lead down to the city? I think it might. But does the city itself then lead down into... I also think that's correct. Because this is def definitely like heading directly towards where I need to go. It's just heading there from a very, very long distance away. I'll come collect out, you, out. Mr. Point. Again, this is what I'm talking about. It's just, the, this game is so, there's a tranquility to it. This, it just feels good to play in a way that a lot of games, I won't say, the, like, obviously I'm not saying most games aren't fun to play, but this is just, relaxing and wholesome is I guess the best way I can describe it you really feel fulfilled and complete in playing this it's a it is almost like another world where you don't necessarily feel like obviously you know you're playing a game but you feel like this world could be complete and accurate you know it's it sells the idea of another existence rather than a contrived plot. And a lot of games, you're just doing things because the plot wants you to, and this, you're just going around and things are living their lives, and you know, the ecology actually works. At this point, I think we can safely say that yes, this is exactly where we're supposed to be. Hold on. Why is it saying to go to Morardain? Is that not where I am currently? Does it not have this quest selected? I think I may have made a terrible mistake. <laughs> and arrived. Oh, this is where we were going. So here's Fountain Park. This is definitely one of the places they told me to go. Huh. Oh. Th 
the question is, how do I... Or am I already here? Okay, that's really You're annoying that it actually tells me to go around between. Well, there's definitely something buried here. You're all mine. They buried in both places. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, now to more Ardain. Empire of more Ardain. That's a city. It definitely won't be in a city. So now I have to find out where this stupid, like, rift of forgetfulness is, because I definitely, definitely, definitely do not know. Meh. Meh. Long journeys make Tora tired. Refresh and set off again. Alright, so about 700 away. That... Is there a closer location? Yeah, this will probably be closer. The question is, will it be closer when you take into the account the loading time? Let us go. The answer is still yes. Interesting. The rift is inside the city. That seems unlikely and unusual. We're here. Let's get going. You're not making me get on a ship, are you? Is it in the lower section? It might be. Like, it's having me go to the palace now for some reason. But it's also showing that the area I'm going is... to the south. Okay, definitely in the lower area, not, like, don't go to the palace. Got it. <laughs> we'll have to be extra careful from now on. Proceed I mean, with caution next time. Oh, stop it. Interesting. How do I get, because it's over there. Maybe I'm supposed to go down from the palace. Because I don't think... Well, maybe maybe I can go back to the palace. Let me try and um, swim over first. And we're you. Let us go. report mission was a success. I'm nice treasure trove. You're all mine. Open up! Opening protocol in game. Iron heart beats in Poppy's chest. Awesome. Okay, well, I'll send that out in just a second. First, let me see what I can find out about getting over to where I'm trying to go. That is a drop of death. That drop will kill me. It will do its very best. It will do its level best to kill me. So, yeah. I am not entirely sure how to get over there. So, guys, when I figure it out, I will be back. See you in two seconds. Well, guys, I haven't figured out how to get over there yet, but hey, I found a heart to heart. That's something, right? Rex, Rex, Tora have to ask for friend as fellow man's man. Oh dear. Tora want to gain understanding of life as adventurer. At this point, I think you have a pretty good understanding of it, to be quite honest. As an adventurer. Rex, Rex is role model of Tora. That why Tora want to learn everything he can about being Rex Rex. Well, you shouldn't want to be me. You should want to be Tora. Be the best Tora you can. This is all very sudden, Tora. What's going on? Um, now, Rex. Don't feel too important. He just wants to talk. In any case, it's not so common for Master Pond to ask something so directly. <laughs> exactly. Tora being earnest like never before. <laughs> Tora, submit as evidence. This direct unflinching eye contact. Oh god, that is creepy as anything. Wow, your pupils are really dilated. Wow, Tora's been hitting the, um, bog. 
<laughs> that's what you get staying up all night. I don't think that's what it is, Gramps. All right, tonight Master Pond go to bed early. Me, 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 me. Enough! Tora's eyes are worry of Tora. It not matter. This important. Tora want to be like Rex Rex. Rex Rex, please teach Tora. But if you become like Rex Rex, how am I supposed to get all the girls? You're like fluffy and cute. I'll teach you all that life's taught me. Yeah, don't back away. Thank you. Tora cannot wait. All right, Tora, listen up. To become a responsible adult, here's what you need to do. Oh dear, this should be good. Firstly, you've got to take good care of your tools. That Tora, very good at that. Runs Poppy's diagnostics every day. Indeed. Master Pond keep Poppy in impeccable state of maintenance. Well, I would hope so. Secondly, you've got to take good care of your friends. If you don't have friends to rely on, you'll be in trouble when a big job comes around. Hum, 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 hum. Tora, see. Tora always work alone until now, so that point still a little new to Tora. And most importantly, number three. Yes, yes. Here Correctly comes. triangulating wreckage coordinates. <laughs> ah, of course! Tora can see that very important. One moment. Wreckage coordinates? That's right. Yeah, Tora's not a salvager, dude. If you mess up the coordinates, all the prep you've done goes down the drain. You might lose out on any loot you could have got otherwise. <sighs> um, Rex, isn't that salvaging you're talking about? Huh? Yeah, why? That's not adulting. One moment, please. Why Rex Rex talking about salvaging? You wanted to know about adventure, yeah? And what greater adventure is there than salvaging? <laughs> Tora want to know driver wisdom. Have no use for salvager wisdom. Meh. What? Master Pond, it seemed that Ask Rex about art of being driver not bear fruit. You have to specify what adventure you mean. After all, Rex is a rookie too. Tora is disappoint. I really thought you were thinking of being a salvager, Tora. Nah, it's fine. Tora, ask Nia. Uh, hang on, Tora. <laughs> let me let me try again. To be honest, I didn't know he meant you know bl uh, driver wisdom either. He just said a great adventure. So I do think that I need to come from below the palace. The question is, how do I get down from the palace? And the answer is, I don't know. Off we go! Refresh and set off again. My lord. So is there one of these lifts that goes down? I don't think I've ever been in this direction before. So it's possible that this lift goes down. Actually, it looks like it does. I think we may have found it. Depends on which direction this guy... It does come from below. Do we go down? We do go down. Victory is ours. Going down. So we're going to areas I've never been to before. We're setting out on bold new adventures. Uh, Poppy, that's adorable. I've never seen her do that before. That is awesome. Does this go further down? No, it looks like it goes up. So we still need to go f further below. This is still not as far down as I need to be. I I didn't realize that I was already up. So how how do I go down? Well, guys, once again, I will be back when I figure out how to go down from here. I'm sure there's a way. There must be a way. There's always a way. I have just not yet found it. Ooh, treasure box. Treasure acquired. Hey there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Five of Forgetfulness. I will not lie. I looked up how the hell hey, to get to this place. Again. I hope you will be the bearer of good news. Because holy crap. I don't know how anyone was supposed to find this naturally. What like, have you have to go de do a series of platforming like 300 feet away from your objective 
and just supposed to kind of psychically know that there's going to be a cave there that will lead you to where you want to be. Because that makes sense. You're all mine. But regardless, we found it. That's what matters. You're all mine. I am all yours. And now we're heading home. Well, not really home, but we're heading back to um, Gormot in order to turn this in. Toragoth. I think you guys are around there. If I remember correctly, which I probably don't. Probably don't. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, Man. bum. Long journeys make Tora tired. Refresh and set off again. Um, why are you not quest log? I, I'm finishing this. In in Gourmand, that's where I am, right? What, are they, like, sleeping right now, and so it's not going to give me the option to talk to them? Because they're, like, right here, aren't they? The windmill pl Oh, gods. <laughs> I did not realize that went all the way through. I'm dumb. So where's the windmill plaza in Gourmet? What? What happened? Next time lucky, Master Pawn. Oh. Like, that's where I am. I'm in the windmill plaza right now. Because you, it just came up. So where are these people? There's sea kale. Do I have to change the time? I, I assume I have to change the time. Okay, yes. <gasps> They were just asleep. I was so confused. I have not actually had a quest like g person go away because of the time before. So I was super unsure what the heck was going on. Turn out you both right. We find one in Baratin and one in Araya. You good kids for doing this. You know that? Thank you. There's one last thing I'd like you to do for me. Wait, I need to deliver those braces to my son and daughter. They got on the phone families now live out and live in different nations. So his name is Antis. He should be in Alba Kanovich and Moradain. My daughter's Noel. Really? Noel? Fallen some mirror in Araya. Well, let's get it done. So this should relatively, I mean, if there, if there are people living in cities, it should be relatively easy and quick to find them. I hope and think. <laughs> that was a slog. Let us go. Okay, so we'll just run down these stairways, and then we'll go to Morardane. I am glad that the game tells me exactly where to find them. That's helpful. I keep seeing people I haven't talked to, and I'm going to stop what I'm doing and talk to them, but I'm also trying to end the episode, so... Hey, Noel. From Daddy... Oh, God, thank you for coming all the way here to deliver it. This is a golden... Bra this is so expensive. I'm not sure I can accept it. But it is from Daddy. How are you and Vest doing these days? Vest doesn't mean my brother most of my childhood, you know? Very common general for a blade, the kindest one I know.
Okay. And now to Mordane. That one's kind of the middle of the city. That would be the best place to find what we're looking for. The best place. The place that puts all other places to shame. Meh. Meh. Long journeys make Dora tired. Refresh and set off again. Uh, uh, huh. oh. Okay, so should be very close. Are you... Looks like they're behind this. Okay. I'm dead. <laughs> Thanks for much of a quiet trek. I remember hearing about these when I was a kid. They're still the same old cells, I take. I haven't seen them for yonks. Don't tell me, Vessel's still making the same old dumplings? My sister used to love those. Get together and see. I'd love to see Vess again. Oh, because you lost it on Daddy? The session I made myself. I would never use it, but at least I'll remind him how we are. The voracious Vanguard has returned! Of course nicely they have. Done. How, you haven't even gotten the status update. How do you know it's nicely done? Tora Goth. All right, we're closing in on the end of this quest. I can feel it. Well, I've got a feeling that this quest isn't Let's going to go on much longer. Let's get going. Hello, guys. Give me your cutscene. I demand it. So, how are the bands? Well, they seem to be getting on just fine from what I saw. There's another thing off my mind. How were Antis and Noah? They must have grown quite a bit since I last saw them. Say, say they'll drive a reunion sometime, too. It seems like I'm, how many years has it been now? Well, is this good news, Maybon? So they're getting on just fine, are they? There I was worrying over nothing as usual. Of course he is. You know, he's going to visit us a long time. Anyone would be. Hold on. My belly's starting to rumble. <laughs> oh, goodness. Is it that late already? Don't worry. I won't be ten minutes. I'll make enough for everyone. So, what's on the menu today? I'll give you three guesses. Oh, all right. I'll play along. Could it be dumplings? Spot on. That must get hard to get us have the same thing every night. Like no matter how good it is, I love tacos. I could not eat tacos every day. <coughs> you all right there, man? Yeah, Gramps knows what yes. that is. Don't you worry. Just a pesky little cough. She's a sweet lass, isn't she? She is. Totally, and her cooking's top notch. It must be odd if to have a, a friend that never grits older. Cooking. She is perhaps a little misguided at times, but her love and compassion cannot be faulted. Right. My life never amounted to much. To be honest with you. Yeah, he's got to be thinking back. I did some reckless things in my time, all to be the center of attention. And every time I bungled something up, Vess and the kids would suffer for it somehow. But Vess, uh, she stuck by my side all the same. Did she really have a choice? Like, can Bla Blades leave people? She took the role of my dearly departed, bless her soul, and started looking after the kids for me. She's become a part of the family now. I don't know what we'd do without her. Unfortunately, I think you're going to have to fight, figure it out. Because it's got to be building towards getting a vest. And that's why I just want her to have a good life. Do you know what I'm saying? <coughs> Are you all right? I'm fine. I 
just need to lie down for a bit. This is actually oh, kind it of bumming like me out. The best course of action. Because this sounds like the last hurrah people have. Close my eyes a moment. Where they just want to get everything in order before they let themselves go. My bum? Yep, yeah, that's that's got to be an awkward way of like, whenever someone's blade just collapses. No, I'm afraid he's already. Move, kitty. And everyone's got to go someday, even drivers. Terrible thing, but that's just the way of the world. Terminal blades are inextricably linked. Special of return to a core crystal. This almost feels like looting at this point. Kitty. Well, it's true then. She really did go back. She must have been in a real shock. You'll have to wait a while. Oh, that's not Poppy. You'll have to wait before the color returned to how it was before. It's an old part of the cycle, such as the fate of blades. But we remember. That right. Poppy and others still remember we have power to teach Jess about past. Fast, not Jess. Well, that was, that was a very touching one. And I don't, is it going to come available or is it already available? I think she'll probably be a healer. Okay, no. She's not ready yet. So, with that, I'll go ahead and end this episode. When she comes available, we will pro I think she's probably going to be a healing type, so I'll give her to Nia. For sure. So, guys, thank you very much for being here. I will see you all in the next one. Into the corner with ya!